generation come We've been called for sure Yes, excellence All I require Require for life God has given me I know who I know, I am I know, I know who God says I am What he says I am Where he says I'm at I know who I am I know who God says I am What he says I am where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I'm working in power. I'm walking miracles. I live a life of life. For I know who I am. God. Hallelujah. I want to welcome each and every one of us tonight. That song says, I know who I am. And because we know who we are in Christ, that is why we have come to declare what is God has said concerning us. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you this evening. Give you all the praise and all the glory because of the living God. Father, the shorts of grace, the bright and moister, God mighty and strong in battle. We give you praise for the privilege to be alive to see the last Sunday in the month of November. It can only be you. We thank you for January, February, March, April, June, July, August, September, October. Today, the last Sunday in the month of November, let's do not divide the salvation, not because we want to pray, but 
with us. Please, in your mercy, keep us in service. We say, we say, tell Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, tonight we have come to speak to your ear, remind you of your promises concerning us. Lord, we pray as we pray. We grant our request for every one of every participant that will come on this program tonight in the name of Jesus. We say, where two or three are gathered in the name. No, we are more than two here already. We pray we come into our list. We take authority over the year. We soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We soak everyone that will be ministering tonight in the blood of Jesus. We soak the way in the blood of Jesus. I pray Lord, we give access. We shall be free access to every participant tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. We give you all the praise. With all the glory and honor will be yours. And the blessings shall be answered and the sheep together. We shall receive your praise. Amen. Amen. Man of honor, Abiola, are you ready? You are muted. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. Lord, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You be wonderful. You are wonderful. Oh, we give you glory, we give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Eshewo, Mama. Eshewo, Jesus. Adupe, oh Mama. Anyo, Jesus. He make a fist on Beautiful, Walking in cafe song, I knew where be useful to lie. A beruan a mighty God, mighty God, you are the mighty God. 
Six taking from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 20 to 24. The topic we are considering tonight says, I shall fulfill my days. I want to hear you say that I, I shall fulfill, fulfill my days. I shall fulfill my days. Fulfill my days. Now, quickly, we want to examine the word of God. Uh, quickly, we examine for uh, first verses of the scripture. I'm sorry that we cannot post our prayer point tonight. God understand. So um, you just follow me as we pray. Um, Isaiah chapter 65, verse, from verse 20 to 24, says, There shall be no more things an infant of days, nor an old man that has no fuel his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, for the sinner be an hundred years old shall be an host, and they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people. The question is, are you God's people? And my elect shall not enjoy the work of their hands. I thought somebody would say amen. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. 
and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. I go to Exodus 23, verse 25. Exodus 23, verse 25. Though that is not part of the text we sent, I mean, we put out, but it was the part of the text that was sent to those who are supposed to contradict the program tonight. Your God understand. I trust God that what he has for us, we shall receive in the name of Jesus. Exodus Amen. 23, verse 25 and 26 says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and he will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days, high, will fulfill. Here, you can see that it is God Almighty himself that said he's going to fulfill the number of your days. Now, the question is, what is the number of the days of man? That takes us to Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6, we are going to read verse 3. Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And the Lord God said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. And that is after the flood, and Noah made a sacrifice unto the Lord. And the Lord remember what has happened. And he established this covenant and he said that the number of days of man going forward shall be 120 years. Somebody might tell me that what Psalm 90 verse 10 says uh, is the three scores and, and, and 10. That is, it was, that was David. What the creator of heaven and earth said is in Genesis chapter six, verse three, is that the number of our days shall be what? 120 Yes. Genesis, I mean, Psalm 19, verse 10. The days of our years are three scores here. If you go and check your Bible from verse 1 of Psalm 19, that's David talking there. So, the days of our years are three score years and 10. And if by reason of strength they are they be four, four score years, yet it is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it's soon cut off and we fly away. That is David, that's man saying me. But what the Lord God Almighty said concerning you and I is that the number of our days shall be 120 years. And what he said in, if you read that, what we have read in Exodus 5, verse 20 to 24, and Exodus 23, 25 to 26, it makes us to understand that is we he shall, the number of our days is going to fulfill. Now, from that text we read in Exodus 23, verse 25 and 6. It makes us to understand that the secret on, of longev, longevity, long, longevity is service. The Bible says, you will serve the Lord your God. And he, that is your part, what you are meant to do. That is your part. So I want to call out unto us as children of God, as wherever you have an avenue, to be involved in anything that has to do with the kingdom, in any service with God or for God, anywhere you find yourself on the planet of, of the hands, just make sure you seize that opportunity and you put in your best as if your life depends on it. Because what the Bible says, it says, you will serve the Lord your God and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and he will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Said that shall not cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of your days I will fulfill. That is today's the number of the days who have been appointed. Either an infant, a pregnancy, that pregnancy will come to time. If you that have been born, the number of your days, which he said is going to be 120 years, he himself will fulfill it. And no devil will plug you before your time. Now, of course, the era we have 
is the era of coronavirus. The era of coronavirus and you know the 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 what is happening now, everybody is getting fascinated. And we are being told it's not as if the uh, vaccination is going and uh, the vaccine is going to prevent, of course, there are several people that have taken the vaccine and they see that the same uh, virus. But they said the effect of the virus will be minimal on such people. So the chances of survival may be high. So what we have come to do tonight is that we have come to immune, immune our system. We've come to take the vaccine of the word of God. Don't forget the Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was God. And God himself is our word. By him, everything was created. So you, and I want to employ each and every one of us that you make it a daily confession. This is what the word of God has said concerning you, that the number of your days you will fulfill. You will not be for another person to inhabit the number of your days you will fulfill. You say it to yourself on a daily basis. Now, you know, when this topic came and, you know, and I was preparing, the devil came and was like, well, you just lost a dear one. And the Holy Spirit brought this story that the Jews uh, told us sometimes ago. He said, before he gave his life to Christ, Mommy Gio were giving back through CS. Then when he gave his life to Christ, and you know the wonder working power of God. So the first miracle baby uh, child, who is late now, Pastor Dari, you know, he, 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 when mommy was pregnant, he was trusting God for a normal delivery. And for, uh, fortunately, the, the general was here then, uh, Papa Akidai, somebody very close to him. They just lost somebody close to him and the devil came and was like, hey, look at you. You are just risking the life of your, your wife. See your father in the law, just lost somebody. Will you risk the life of your wife? And he was like, devil, shut up. He trusted God and he believed God. And by the grace of God, the baby was born naturally. And the subsequent birth after that was natural. So where am I going? The devil has done his worst. But now, that is why I said we have come to fascinate ourselves. We have come to take, immunize ourselves. We prepare for ahead. For adventure, there is any evil the Lord, the devil has prepared ahead of us. We say to the devil, whatever he has planned ahead of us, we believe the report. Say, whose report do you believe? We believe the reports of the Lord. Now, there is this man of God that I refer so much. I have had a story about his younger brother that, you know, that have been into ministry. And of course, uh, we learned that um, there was a day we were, whether they just finished a program and Islam and I. And, you know, that has raised so much questions in my heart as well, like, with this man too, what happened? And things like that. But today, by the grace of God, I got answer to that question. And he was giving testimony of how the help of God, the grace of God upon his life, what grace has, you know, brought out of his life. And he was saying from his clan, his own family, nobody can amount when it comes to ministerial assignment. Is there that they cut you short or you, you have no life bearing? And he said, the devil, there was a time the devil came and gave him and said, so, so date, you are going to die. And he said to the devil, because of, you know, the consciousness of, he is into the consciousness of who he is and whatever mantle he has connected to and things like that. Of course, that can be from his lining, but he has, he now believes he belongs to a different genealogy. Now, he, told, he said, the devil, it is you devil that will die. And just to realize the devil, he didn't even share that revelation with his wife. And he said, maybe, maybe they were preparing for a program. And the day the devil gave himself was towards a program, a, a main program of the church. He didn't mention it to anybody, just to, you know, useless the devil, to let him know he's not important. And after they have finished the program, and he said on that day, when it was the day the devil gave himself, he ministered brutally. He was so annoyed with the devil because he was conscious of who, who he is. Don't forget the song, the song we were singing before we started the program. He said, 
I know who I am. I know what the word of God has said concerning me. And so you, you let it enter into your consciousness that the number of my days, the Bible said concerning, except I am satisfied and I'm ready to go. Now, um, Psalm 91, verse 14 to uh, 16. Say, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. That is you and I. He shall call upon me and I will deliver him. He, I will be with him in trouble. And I will deliver him and I will honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. Except you are satisfied and say, um, just like I was supposed to say, he said, I, I have fulfilled, uh, have finished my race. There is, await me a crown. When you are, you think you have fulfilled your days, you are satisfied. Even if you don't want to stay up to 120, because it's better to be at that other side. But if we are much relevant at this other side. Of course, when we get there, we'll join the angels. The angels are already there praising him. So we'll join the angels to be praising him there. But we are more relevant. We can make more impact on this side of eternity until we are satisfied, until we are fulfilled. Then it will be time for us to say, oh Lord, uh, I, I, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah. So we have come to uh, you know, immune assistance. And sit, let it register to your consciousness that the devil that will kill you before your time has not been born. And in, in the consciousness of that, I told the devil, my grandmother, who was an unbeliever, died at the age of over 100 years. My mom is already over 75. And by the grace of God, if God, I, I, by the grace of God, I know God early. And I've always told him the mistake he did was for him to make me to know Christ early, to give my life to Christ early. And of course, he has tried so many times and he has failed. And he will continue to fail. And I told the devil, if my mother, my, my grandmother, that is an unbeliever, can stay over 100 years, how much more? I that knows what the word of God says. I said, the devil that will kill me before my time has come. So that is the kind of fire, the kind of, you know, the annoyance. I want you to, 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 to arise in your spirit and you see it on a daily basis for every devil that cares to know that as for me, I shall fulfill my days until I am satisfied. I am not ready to go. On the days of the on the day of the joy of my children, nobody will represent me. I will not labor for another man to inherit. That's what that, that our text says. He said, he said, um, there shall not more thanks an infant of days, nor an old man that has not uh, fulfilled his days, for the child shall die an hundred years old. Then he now said, and verse 21, said, and they shall build asses and they shall inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat of the fruit of their labor. I thought somebody would be saying amen. And she said, they shall build, and they shall not build and another inhabit, and they shall not amen. plant and another eat. For as the days mm. of a tree, at the days of my people, and in my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Hallelujah. Yeah. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring Amen. forth the drugs, shall not labor but in vain. they are the mm. seed of the flesh of the Lord, and their offspring with them. That is what the Lord has said concerning you. And he mm. said before you call, he will answer. And when you are yes speaking, he will he will hear. That is the word of God concerning us this, this evening. So we are going to go before the Lord. Part of our text is Psalm 97. We are going to go before the Lord. If you read that Psalm, he said, The Lord reigneth, let the heart rejoice. Let the multitude of the eyes be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are around about him. Righteous and judgment at the habitation of his throne. A fire go ahead before, the, before him and burneth up his enemy round about. Is lighting and lighting the world. The earth saw and tremble. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth, the heaven declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven image, that boast themselves of idols, idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion, we are daughters of Zion. Zion. He said, Zion had and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgment. O Lord, 
For thou, Lord, art I above all the heads, that are exalted far above, above all gods. Ye that love the Lord, hate evil. He preserved the soul of his saint. He, he delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and the gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Don't forget, the Bible says, the Lord God himself, Make us to understand that the number of man shall be 120 years. And he promised your days he will fulfill. He said, because you, 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 you yeah, uh, in that Psalm, um, Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16, verse 16, he said, with long life, it will satisfy you and I, and will show us the salvation. So we want to go before the Lord and say, Father, we appreciate you for who you are. Because all power in heaven and our hearts belong to you. Open Don't your mouth and begin to appreciate it. Give him praise. Oh, open your Bible to that Psalm 97 and talk about his wondrous work. Talk about his mighty hand. Talk about his power that he's able to deliver. Talk about his righteous judgment. Father, we appreciate you because you are the almighty. Lord, we you give you praise almighty. because there is nothing you cannot do. We no give you all the praise and all the glory. We give you praise, Lord. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus, King of glory, our Father, Lord, we appreciate you because the talks you have to talk to you is stopped up. We are not forgiven. Daddy, we appreciate you. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We say be exalted. King of glory, we thank you. We worship you. We are now in the reverence. We are praying. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, we are praying. We are wishing your word. And now, Father, Lord, we are here to put that in the face. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we are doing. We give you praise. Lord, we are doing. In the name of Jesus. Father, we exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to thank him. His power is able to deliver and to save. Yes. And we have appreciated him for who he is. And because his word, the Bible, we said in John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5, he said this, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and God himself was that word. By him, all things were created and nothing was created without the word. So it is his word that he has spoken that we are coming to speak to him and let every devil that cares to hear, to hear his word. So we are going to thank you for the thus far he has preserved you and I. It's not everyone that we started this year together that are alive today. We are not mocking him, but we are being grateful for divine preservation. Psalm 3 verse 5 said, I, I laid me down and slept and I awake, for the Lord sustained me. We are going to thank you for, Father Lord, I thank you for your sustainment, for divine Hello. preservation from the beginning of this year over my life over my husband, over my children, over everyone connected, related, associated with me, to you behold the praise, to you behold the glory. Lord, I am grateful for divine preservation. Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. We say be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. For divine preservation, we worship you. For divine sustenance, we thank you. All through the year, we appreciate you. We we give you praise, not because we are holy, not because we know how to do it. That is not because we are living righteous, but your mercy has kept us, your mercy has preserved us. That is we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. We are going to still going to thank you. Father, Lord, I appreciate you. Because your word is forever settled in heaven. Concerning me, concerning my household, your word concerning us is forever settled. And he said his word that has come forth out of his mouth will not return unto him but, except it has accomplished, prosper in that which he has sent. He has sent his word concerning you tonight. And if you are not conscious of it, you need to be conscious of it going forward. His word concerning you is that your number of days is going to fulfill it. So no devil can block you before your time. That songwriter, he said in Christ alone, he said no power of hell can block me from his hand. That is the consciousness we need to have going forward. You know, there was this, um, somebody that was meant to 
maybe they was diagnosed of one ailment like that and was given two, two weeks to leave. You know, all men of God, great men of God, I pray for this woman and, you know, nothing was coming for until she discovered, she just saw a light from the scripture. She lived maybe more than 10 years after two weeks they have given to her because she discovered the lights. So you need to be conscious of it as in, I, I choose to leave. I mm. choose to fill the number of my days. I will not be cut short before my time. And so shall it be for us in the name of Jesus. So you are going mm. to say, Father, I thank you because your word is forever settled in heaven. Concerning okay. me, concerning my household, concerning everyone named, uh, connected, related, associated with me, Lord, I give you praise because your word is forever settled in heaven. Give him praise, give him glory. I appreciate him this evening. Father, we thank you because your word is forever settled in heaven. Concerning each and every one of us, we give him praise because you shall be faithful to bring to pass performance your word concerning us. Daddy, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. I say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I appreciate you. You give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I appreciate you because your word is forever settled concerning me, concerning my household, in the name of Jesus, in the fact that I shall fulfill my days, in the name of Jesus, in the fact that I shall not be cut short before my time, in the fact that on the days of the joy of my children, nobody would represent me, in the name of Jesus, in the fact that I will not live for another person to inherit, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, wonderful Father, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying, John chapter 10, verse 10, you know, death is associated with darkness. And of course, darkness is of the devil. And John chapter 10, verse 10, make us to understand it. He cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the devil. But the good news is in the latter part. He said, I am come that thy might have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. That we might have life and have it more Abundant. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29 says, The secret things belong unto the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the works of this law. The secret things, the hidden things, the mystery. Just I just talk about a man of God that, you know, there is something associated with the uh, family he has come from. But he got the light of the scripture from the word of God. And he said, no more, who am I be born into that, into, into that family? But I had my genealogy now is associated with Christ. So no devil can take me away before my time. So now John chapter one, verse one to five. John chapter one, verse one to five say, in the beginning was the world. The world was with God and God himself with that world. The same was in the beginning, all things. So once you want to, you want to create your world. You want to say concerning you and I, this is what the word of God says to me. Let all oh, the devil that care to hear, let them hear. So things were created by him and said in him is life. Don't forget in that John 10, 10, he said he has come to give us life and give us abundantly. In him was life and the life was the life of men. And the light shined in darkness and darkness and comprehended that not. not comprehend it. I hope we can, we can add those uh, scriptures together and it's making meaning to us. It is Darkness, death is associated with darkness and death, darkness, of course, the Bible makes us understand that the last enemy that will be destroyed is the is death. Hmm? But now, going into the world, cutting short people, either because of uh, unknown evil covenant or causes that, are, that has been, uh, that one is not known, but they said the ignorance is not uh, an excuse in the course of law. So, that Genesis and Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, it's a secret thing belongs to God. And that is the reason why you will seek the face of God and ask God if there is anything the devil has planted to our future that the Lord will or put by his fire. If fire will burn from that verse 3 of that 90, Psalm 97 that we read, say, fire go ahead before the Lord and consume his enemy. So you are going to say, Father. Father. Night. Every word I enter into, we are going to say, I enter into the righteousness of Christ through the blood of Jesus tonight. And every word of my mouth, I empty your feet with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And the word as is coming out of my mouth, it will consume everything contrary to the word, the written word of God concerning me. 
and my house in the name of Jesus. Everything that is contrary to the word of God in my life, I enter into the righteousness of Christ through the blood of Jesus tonight, and I select the word of God, which is the fire of God, go ahead of me and consume every of my enemy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, everything, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that is contrary to your word, that the enemy has to be concerned in my house, I said, let your fire go ahead first and consume it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Before we go ahead, for adventure. You know, the Bible says in First John chapter 3, verse 8, said, He that committed sin of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning, for this purple, he said, but for this purple, the Son of God was manifested, manifested. that he might destroy the work of the devil. Work of they are going to say, Father, is there anything in my life that has opened that an avenue for the devil? So I fixed my life or cut me short. You know, don't forget the Bible makes us to understand in the uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8. He said, He that he gets a pit shall fall into it, fall and whosoever that break an egg, it's a pain to bite. So, a costless cause shall not come. So, and God is a God that have, you know, honor his word more than his name. And of course, don't forget the Bible makes us understand that the devil is a piece of bread. By the time the devil say, Oh, see, this is what your word say. From that psalm we are praying, we said it's a righteous thing. His judgment is righteous. So we are going to ask God, we are going to say, Father, is there any sin in my life that can open me up to the attack of the enemy? Or is it a generational sin? Lord, tonight I confess them and I say, Let your blood. Let your blood cleanse me in the name of Jesus. Revelation 12, 11, make us to understand that we overcame the dragon, the devil, by the blood, the blood of the Lamb and the word and of our testimony. We are going to say, Father, I implore the blood of Jesus to so speak on my behalf tonight. I come to the throne of grace and I, 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 I obtain grace tonight in the name of Jesus. And I say, let the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse every unrighteousness or every sin that might be speaking. Let the blood, the sprinkling blood of Jesus, silence every voice that has been speaking contrary to the voice of God or the purpose of God in my life in the name of Jesus. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we stand into we enter into the righteousness of Christ through the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Is there any sin, generational sin, or self inflicted sin that will cause open us to the attack of the enemy? Tonight, we plead the blood of Jesus. We confess those sins. We forsake those sins. We disassociate our we disassociate and associate ourselves from all those sins. And we say, Lord, tonight your blood will have it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. That's Psalm 97. Psalm 97 by street says by street to five. Say a fire goeth before him. And burn it up his enemies round about. It's lighting and lighting the world, and they had saw it and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, and at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. You're going to say, Father, for adventure. For adventure. There are things the enemy has programmed into my future. Let your fire. Let I call fire. upon your fire tonight. Call upon your fire to tonight. Go ahead of me and consume okay. every fire set enemy. Consume every and burn it up his enemies roundabout. Now, if the Lord has said this, he is going to fulfill the number of your days. But whoever we want to cut short of my children, cut us short before our time. Is standing against the purpose of God, and that let means an enemy to God. I want to say, let your fire let go ahead of, of me right now and consume every enemy of your enemy purpose of and your counsel. This is the counsel of God concerning us that we shall fulfill our days. We will not build for another person to inherit. Let, let the fire of God go ahead of me and consume every enemy of the purpose of God for my life, for my family, for my children, for my husband, for everyone connected, related, associated with me. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, let yes. your fire go ahead of rivers for this night. In the name of let your fire go ahead of me into my future. In the name of Jesus. Every enemy contrary to your purpose of me fulfilling my days, every enemy that wants to cut me short before my time, let your fire go ahead of me and consume that tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your fire go ahead of me. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your fire go ahead of me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And consume them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. From our text that we are he said, and they shall build houses and inhabit them. Amen. And they shall plant the vineyard and eat the fruit there of them. They yes. shall not build and another, For another inhabits. man inhabits. They shall not plant and another and another eat. Hmm. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people. Are you God's yes. people? I am and his people. Of my people and my elect shall long. He said, long, underline the word long, shall long enjoy the work of their hand. We are going to say hi. You I shall not follow in Jesus mighty name we are pray amen don't forget i said we are now that you are, you know, now that the evil day has not come, you know, you are sowing the seed of this prayer into your future. You know, at times when, when, you know, the troubles have overwhelmed one, you know, at that time, your, 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 your spirit might be overwhelmed. But let this word, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word was framed by the word. Everything said, so let that be, let that be, let that be. And even you and I, before he breathed the breath of life, because he said, he called the, uh, the host of heaven, he said, come, let us make man in our image. So you are speaking into your future. You are forming your own future. That as far as I am concerned, I choose to live. I choose I to fulfill the number of my days. I choose to not to be short 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 don't forget he didn't promise us that after you have given your life to christ he's going to be bed of roses no that is not what he said isaiah 43 i'm reading from verse two and uh verse two to four he said when you pass through the waters that is to say Trouble of life will come. He said, when you pass through the water, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be born. 
nor mm. shall the flames scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the only one of of Israel, your savior, I give Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba in your place. Since you are precious in my sight, you have been honorable and I love you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. That is what the word of God says. Don't forget the secret I said. I said the secret of longevity, long, longevity is what? Longevity. Service. It's service. Mm. Wherever you have the opportunity, Wherever you are on the planet of earth, when you come to kingdom assignment, do it with all your might as if your life depends on it. Because what he told us in I, I, Exodus 23, 26, uh, 20, 25 and 26, he said, you will serve the Lord your God, he will bless your water and bless your bread and take his name away from you. And in now the last part of that sentence, he said, you the number of your days, himself will fulfill. Don't play your part and say, God, I have played my part. And I choose to fulfill the number of my days. I'll give you a good example. Exodus, I mean, Isaiah 38, a good example. He is God Almighty. But he, he, he has told us we should plead our cause. Mm -hmm. A good example. That is the story of Ezekiel. Chapter, when you get when you go get home, go and take your Bible, read Isaiah 38 from verse 1 to, uh, to the end. Isaiah was, we, we are just right now. He did say you won't fall sick. When you abuse your system or do whatever, you will fall sick. But you are not permitted to stay long in that sickness, or that sickness is not meant to kill you, as this, as that is what his word says. Only what you need to do is to get that revelation of that word. Like I said when I was doing the Facebook live stream yesterday, since I started this assignment called Amiable Women of Honor, that verse of the scripture, so I Exodus 23, 25. When when I am overwhelmed and I see, I see breaths are out, about to go out of my life, I will stand on that scripture. Lord, I have fulfilled my part. You said I will serve you, and you know I am serving you. And you said you will bless my bread and my, and my water and take sickness away from me. And it will always come true. It has always worked. You only need to catch that man. Exodus, Isaiah 38. The Bible says, in, the, in those days, Ezekiel was sick unto death. Right. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, say thy house in order, for thou mm. shalt die and not live. That is the body. Not even God himself has given that body that is going to die. You, but let's see what happens. He said, okay, he said, uh, prophet of God, God bless you. I know you are, have come to deliver God's message. I understand. God bless you, sir. And after the man of God has left, the Bible says in verse 2, then Ezekiah turned his face toward the world and pray and said, and pray unto the Lord and said, remember now. He said, bring to remembrance only why in case you have forgotten. Um, I want to remind you now the work, my labor in your vineyard. He said, remember now, oh Lord, I beseech thee, how I have worked before thee in truth and with a perfect act. Of course, he could have said, hey, it's God. Okay, he said I would die. Okay, um, let me do my will and everything. But he said, okay, he said I would die. But yet, I'm not yet satisfied. Mm -hmm. Don't forget Psalm uh, 91 verse he said, we would look like you will satisfy you. So Ezekiel thought, Lord, I'm not yet satisfied. I'm not ready to go. And he said, remember now, oh Lord, I beseech you. How I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart. I have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiel went so. <clears throat> See verse 4, I'm sure that prophet has not gone out of his compound before the word of God came. He said, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, Go and say to Ezekiah, Thus said the Lord and the God of David thy father, I have had thy prayer and have seen thy, thy tears. Behold, I will hand unto thy days 15 years. Is it in your Bible, please? Hmm. Is it in your Bible? Yes. Okay. So if it is in your Bible, now that is what we have come to say. You will say, I, 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 I choose to live my day in the name of Jesus. Not devil, but me short before my time. In the mighty name of Jesus. The latter part of that part, he says, they shall not labor in vain. Okay. Uh, he said, sorry. Uh, Isaiah 65, verse, Isaiah 65 verse, verse 23. He said, they shall not labor in vain. They shall not bring forth for trouble. They, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them, not only you, even with your children. children. 
said a seed shall serve the Lord. It shall count it, it shall be counted for a generation. Because you are serving the Lord, your heart, oh, Master Kelly, you are going to say, Father, concerning me, concerning my seed, I speak concerning, I made, I stand on the revelation of the world tonight, and I speak concerning me, concerning my children, concerning my husband, we shall not bring trouble, we shall not labor in vain, in the mighty name of Jesus, Master Kelly, we shall we shall put the number of our days in the name of Jesus. We shall not be cut short before our time. The devil will not be cut short before our time. The devil will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Master, the devil will not be cut short. 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 I refuse to die before my time. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short before my time. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, I will not be cut short. Our time is fast spent, but for emphasis sake, I said you have come to immunize yourself for adventure. You know, there are many people five years ago, nothing is wrong. Everything was fine. They are doing mm -hmm. well. Only to come maybe two years, three years later, one stupid ailment, one demon from the pit of hell, just afflict them like that and things like that. And before you know it, you said he has yeah. gone to glory and will now be consoling him himself that uh, the person he has lived with, who will see will, uh, on the resurrection morning. Did God tell you he was the one that called the person home? Did the best God tell you that the, 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 the number of his days he has fulfilled? You know? By the grace of God, I have had so many testimonies of people going at the other side of eternity, but for the grace and the mantle of God upon the Sabbath, and they are brought back to this, and they are living well now. If they have gone at that time, we will say, God, give God sake. And God will now tell you, did he tell you he was the one that said? You are going to say, um, I, I, I just, lastly, I'm going to read Job chapter 5, verse 25 to 27. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thy offspring as the grass of the head. Thou mm. shalt come to thy grace in full age. And what is the full age that the Lord said concerning you? That is the word of God, the Lord Almighty himself, in Genesis mm. chapter 6, verse 3. Thou shalt come to your grace in full age, like as a shock of corn, comment in his season. Lo, this we have searched to hear it and know that it is for, for thy good. You are going to say concerning me, concerning my children, it does not matter what the devil brings my way. In the name of Jesus, I choose to live. In the name of Jesus, I will fulfill the number of my days of love. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be cut short before my time. In the mighty name of Jesus, Master Kelly Boshadaiva, Jake Posotori, Ali Posotori, Posida. It does not matter what is happening in my family life. It does not matter what is around me. I declare what is happening in my life. All of us will come on our own. My God, I am not afraid. I shall put my days in the name of Jesus. I am not permitted to be cut short until I am cut short. but the little revelation i've been able to share with you i want you to be your daily dose just like a, a, a somebody would take 
there are daily dose. Uh, a sick person will take his dose. Feed yourself with the dose of the word of God and let it be part and parcel of you, even in your consciousness. That was mm. the day the devil came to attack himself. And I was so annoyed. And unfortunately for the devil, it was during the Easter period. Hey, and I told them, there were so many. I said, except Jesus did not die and resurrect. Only me, tiny me. There were so many, but you know, one after the other. So you need to have, you know, immunize yourself with this word. Let it, even when you are sleeping, let your spirit man know when they come like a flood and they want to attack you. Let that mm. word that you have used to immunize yourself, it let it come like a, you know, don't no worry, don't. No, the Bible says the word of God is quick and sharper than two edges. That is, that is the sword of the spirits that mm. you need to fight a battle of life. You are going to save the number of my days. Oh, the Lord said it is finished. And you have had in that uh, 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 Isaiah 43. He said he will, he will give because you are precious in his sight. He will mm. give men life. Mm. You will keep telling yourself on daily basis, I am too, mm. I am too protected to be wasted. I'm yeah, too relevant to be wasted. I'm too relevant to be cut short before my time. You know what? Like I don't know if you have any prayer points. Whatever you want to talk to God in one minute, you can just go before the Lord and talk to God all the round. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Yeah, Father, we yeah, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the glory because this is what you have ordained for us to have at tonight. Yes, Lord. thank you because devil has not been able to deprive of us of what you have for us tonight. We are eternally mm. grateful. And yes, Lord, Lord, as your people you. long for this revelation, I declare for as many that believe in this vision, for as many that have come under this canopy, Lord, we pray concerning us, we shall fulfill our days. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we will not be blocked from your hands. In Amen. the name of Jesus, until Amen. we are satisfied. In the mighty name of Jesus, the number of, your, of, of our days, according to your word in Exodus 23, 26, you will fulfill in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, Amen. because we are precious in your sight. At every point in time that the devil come with his, with the flood, you will always Put a uh, uh, play and uh, uh, give men for our lives in the Amen. mighty name of you. You will raise a, you, you raise your standard Amen. against them Amen. and you will give men for our life because Amen. we are precious in your sight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray everything that your people have asked in their hearts, in the secret Amen. of their hearts, that they cannot Amen. share with anyone. Lord, I pray Amen. you that is able to read their hearts. You will answer them and cause them to return with their testimony in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, Amen. we pray concerning everyone, name after our noble women of honor, we decline in your mercy. There shall be no loss in our camp in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Lord, there shall be performance of your word in concerning us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, wonderful Father. We give Thank you all the praise. Lord. We give Hallelujah. you all the praise. We give you all Hallelujah. your glory. We give you all your adoration. Your word said, a, a, a sin shall serve you, and you shall come be counted unto generation. Lord, because we are standing in your presence tonight, we declare concerning our children, there shall be no loss. In the Amen. name of Jesus, we declare Amen. concerning our husband, which there shall Amen. be no loss. In Amen. the mighty name Amen. of Jesus, the last Amen. loss we experience shall be the loss forever. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. thank you, wonderful Father. We give you all the glory. We give Amen. you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We thank you because Amen. you are greater. Blessed Amen. be your name. Lord, we pray you in heaven. Lord, to be faithful in our service. At every particular point in time, we have opportunity to serve in your body, in your assignment. Lord, we pray you will help us to be faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we play our part, you will be faithful to your part in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. We give you all the praise. As we tonight, Lord, 
there shall be divine encounters. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Is there any mystery we need to know about our life that needs to be dealt with before the appointed time? Father, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, you open every hidden secret that is needed to be known unto us, unto us in the name of Jesus. And as you open this, and you reveal the secret, you give us power. You give us a right to, go, to counter those mysteries in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, wonderful Father. We give you all the praise. Once again, everyone connected, related, associated with us, we pray the blessing we have received tonight will overflow to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, wonderful. Thank you. So we pray and receive with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. I want to thank you, Amen. One of us for coming, and I trust God by the grace of God, we are we shall enjoy. What, what are the benefits of this prayer? The benefit Amen. of this prayer, the seed we have sown tonight, shall, shall answer for us through our lifetime Amen. in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. So, Amen. a woman of honor, our first time, a woman of honor, Williams, I spoke with her this evening and she said she was going to join. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for joining. And the Lord answer your silent prayer in Jesus' name. And Amen. for our regular uh, uh, members, woman of honor, Ade Yemi Abimbola, uh, for the first time I met you today. And it was lovely. Uh, woman of Anita, God bless you. Woman of Oluwa, God bless you. Oluwa, you see, God bless you. Woman of Ono, God bless you. Woman of Ono, God bless you. God bless you, man. God, God bless you. Ma. And uh, all our Thank husband, you. because yes. I was somewhere today, and somebody was like, and there are men here too, and they were saying the husband was watching with them, and I didn't get <laughs> it. So I greet all our husband. Oh, thank you for supporting us. God bless you. And all our Facebook viewers, God bless you. And we shall return with our testimony of his faithfulness in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. share the grace, Amen. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord of the Lord. Christ and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. All the days of our lives, lives. and we shall go in the hands of the Lord forever. Amen. Shalom. Amen. If Jesus tarries this time next year, we shall be alive and well. Amen. In the third dimension, enjoying Amen. God's goodness. In the Amen. Mighty name of Jesus. Till uh, the next week, and don't forget our program this Friday. I mean, this Saturday. Oh, Yes. Okay. Third outreach, please. Okay. I, I'm looking forward to each and every one of us uh, physically, and Amen. the Lord will minister to us as we come in the mighty name of Jesus. So we we'll come next week. I will be praying uh, on another topic. The Lord will lay on our heart. Keep enjoying your blessing that you have received tonight. And Amen. no devil will flood you, will, will harvest you before your time. The number Amen. of your days. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Bless you, man. Sweet bless your home. Mm. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. God bless you, man. God bless you. Good night, everybody. God bless you all. Bless you. I'm going to go my pleasure. God bless you. Thank you. Love you. Love, Love you. Man. Thanks for honoring us. God bless you, man. God be praised. Amen.